Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to another edition of Tips for Tuesday here at Next Level Fitness and Performance. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the trap bar deadlift. Uh, deadlifting traditionalists um, aren't really very fond of the trap bar. Uh, for me, I, I believe it's an excellent training tool, and uh, it's less technique-oriented. So uh, I think we get uh, a lot of the same bang for your buck that you get with traditional deadlifting. Um, but using a trap bar instead, okay? And it's a lot easier to teach and learn, um, okay? So uh, first of all, you have to have a uh, hexagon, uh, what they call a hex bar, um, deadlifting bar. Usually they're 45 pounds, the same as a, a regular uh, straight bar would be. Um, you're gonna step inside. Always start out with a, uh, some weight that you know that for sure that you can handle, okay? You're gonna step inside. Reach down, one hand on each handle right in the center. Put your weight into your heels. You're going to press the floor away from you. First get your, take a big deep breath and get, and get the bar snug like you're getting ready to pull it off the floor. All right. So we're right here in this position. Heads at about a 45 and pulling straight up off the floor and always finish with your hips through the weight at the top, okay? Back down nice and slow. We always stand up in between each lift. Come back down. Remember, it's a pull off the floor, so you gotta have the weight snug. You don't wanna bend your elbows so that you're jerking when you come up. You want to have your weights, your, your elbows should be almost completely straight so that you're, and you have some tension on the bar before you pull it off the bar, okay? Um, I'll show you it from the side. You can see what it looks like. I'm going to take that same position with the trap bar, hands in the center, butt down, chest up, in a good straight back position, using those glutes, pressing the floor away from you, and powering up into this position. This is a finished position. Some people finish here. We want to finish with our hip flexors stretched and bringing our hips all the way through at the top. And then back down, stand up, reach down for a second rep, and pull through and back down. Always remember keeping good tension before you come up, okay? The great thing about the trap bar gives you is you get that weight all the way back here, about midfoot in a regular deadlift, the bar would be up here. So your hands would be in front. It tends to make you round more. And what we want to do is keep that back nice and straight. We call it nice tall spine. That's what we're after. The trap bar deadlift, great, a great training tool. Uh, the thing I really like about it is that you can load it. And uh, we tend to have far less injuries with the trap bar than we do with the straight bar. That's tips for Tuesday. Thanks for joining us this week, folks.